Welcome back to Silverstone yet again. I am at Silverstone. This time I'm with Ducati again. This time I'm surrounded by beautiful red Italian beauties. Here he is, speaking of the devil. Here he is. Ciao a tutti, Valetti. Potti spaghetti tottalini. So we're going to take the V4S Street Fighter on track at Silverstone and also the V2 and do a little bit of a comparison between them and see, uh, see what it's like. So if that sounds of interest, grab yourself a cup of tea and chop see roll the intro. So first of all, as it's Silverstone, I don't know it very well. I did, I did a half a lap on the drive, didn't I? So I thought, learn the track again, bring it back to me. I'm gonna start off on one of my favorite ever Ducatis, and that is the Hypermotor. This is the SP version. Never ridden it on track. Silverstone's a massively fast track. So, you know, I thought start on something which is gonna be slow <laughs> around Silverstone and then work my way up to the faster bike. So I'm starting on the Hyper Motard SP. Ooh. So that's the end of session one on the Hyper Motar. That was an interesting session. It's a few little damp patches out of the track. Um, I didn't want to go too fast. There was a lot of people going quite slow around the corners. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I just took it easy. I had the pegs cut, touched down a couple of times, so I wouldn't need to hang off the bike a bit more. But yeah, the Hyper's brilliant. I love the Hyper Motar, it's fantastic. Uh, but it feels a little bit out of its depth on those straights. And as soon as you hit the straights, you've got people on Panagali's coming past and then holding you up in the, in the next corner, you know? So it needs something with a little bit more legs. What should I try? Next up, going out on the uh, V2 Street Fighter. Oh yeah. So this is the Street Fighter V2. Sun's out now, the track's warmed up a little bit. I'm looking forward to this. How's this gonna compare to the Hyper? Thank you. 
That's the uh, Street Fighter V2, step up from the hybrid motard, handles a bit better, um, lacking a little bit of support on the tank, I was sliding around a little bit, but um, yeah, it's great, brilliant bike. Now we're going to go up, I think we're on the V4 Street Fighter now, so slowly working our, our way up through the power. So we've got Courtney here, how are you getting on Courtney? So Good, I'll, should I'll, I hold this is like, yeah, on, I feel like I should be, I feel like I'm going to sing. <laughs> Give us a song, give us a song. Oh God, don't make me sing. How are you getting on? Yeah, really good. Yeah, really enjoying good. It? Really enjoying it. The first session was, um, can I swear on your channel? You can swear. You it can was swear. a shit show. <laughs> uh, then the second was really good and I felt a lot more relaxed and I could at least feel like I was going the pace that I should have been going yeah, on the first yeah, session. Yeah. So yeah. I was much happier with the second. Oh good. And I'm riding the Street Fighter V2. What's your favourite bike so far? Well, I've only done the Street Fighter. Oh, Both sessions was on the Street Fighter V2. You've been hogging it. You've been hogging the I have been Fighter. hogging it, and I was going to hog it one more time as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, I really like it. It's good, isn't it? I really like it. You should it. try the V4. The V4. I know. It's e it's actually easier to ride. Really? I know you wouldn't think so. It's got loads more power, but it's actually easier. I think, think you should try it. Yeah. A lot of people scare me off the V4, and a lot of people nah, say, "Oh, it's too much. It's nah, too much." Nah, it's not. It's so, so it's hard when you haven't ridden it. All the electronic. I, I came off the V2, went on the V4, much preferred the V4. Really? I know. I feel some people are saying the same thing about the Panigale yeah, as well, yeah, preferring yeah. the V4. I, I, I would give it a go. Yeah, I'm, it a I'm, in, I'm due to try the Panigale V2 this afternoon and the Monster SP. Yeah. So we'll see if I can squeeze back well, on the we, V4S we'll as well. We'll catch you later on. Yes. So you've got on with the V4 then. Thank you. <laughs> la 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 la. We've got 
young Timothy here. So there's a little microphone for you, Tim. How are you getting on? What's I'm having a great day uh, riding all the Ducatis. Well, not all the Ducatis. I've literally only ridden the Hypermotard 950. I used to own one, never took it on track. And you think a big track like Silverstone is going to be massively out of its depth. And I feel a bit silly, but uh, it turns out you can overtake everyone on the brakes and in the tight nadgery bits, you can just uh, annoy everyone in the corners. It's great. I love it. And I kind of want to buy another one now, which is a bit of a shame. But hey, I'm only a novice. I need to cool my jets a little bit. You can't have everything. No, we can't, we can't but we kind of slightly have. I feel very lucky, hashtag blessed, to be here. Um, kind of want to go on the Diablo V4, but I think you can only ride that if your name is Alastair Fagan today. I've been hogging it. And he's slightly, it. have you seen the footpegs? Oh, go on, let's look at these footpegs. I think we've had a little bit of issues with ground clearance. I think, uh, yes. Ground clearance I think could this be is a the, the sports model with the chamfered yeah. tip. <laughs> or something that Anne Summers used to sell. But yeah. I mean, I've ridden that on the road, and that's an absolute it's, monster. It's a beaut, isn't it? It's a beaut on the road. Wheelies off every crest, and you wouldn't expect it for a bike with a wheelbase longer than um, things. Out on this bad boy now. Mm. 207 horsepower, 208 horsepower. Oh, it's going to be good. This is amazing. This is bloody amazing. 
So that was the uh, V4 Street Fighter. Wow, a big step above the V2, I think that is. So much more stable, planted. Feels bigger, being a bigger guy, got a bit more room to move around on the bike. I think it also helps that it had tank pads on it. Brakes are amazing. That power's amazing. You know, it just revs forever. It absolutely revs forever. But yeah, that's that. That was brilliant fun on the road. That's a fantastic track machine. You know, as far as naked machines go on the on the track, that is that is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, there we go. The day is over. I have ridden my Street Fighters. I've had a lot of fun. Both fantastic. But for me, it's the V4. Being a bigger guy, there's a bit more room on it and the electronics are so good, it's so stable, the brakes are amazing. Seems to be a bit more purchase on it and with the tank as well. So yeah, really impressive. I knew it would be good. I knew it would be good on track and it does not disappoint. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget, press like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.